When you think about the cosmos, you think about Richard Branson, Elon Musk. You never think about Jeff Bezos, the man that created Amazon.com. Well, he has a new company called Blue Origin, and they are ferociously building and testing new suborbital space vehicles called the New Glenn family. Check this out. These group of rockets will send scientists, astronauts, and explorers alike into space safely while providing enough room for weightless somersaults and breathtaking views. This is the New Shepard rocket and the future of suborbital vehicles. Let's get this going. Well, it seems as though the new space race has begun. Instead of seeing a Starbucks on every corner, now you see privately funded aerospace manufacturers going up everywhere, it's crazy. The future of space exploration is here. Blue Origin is leading the way with its New Shepard reusable rocket. The New Shepard system is a fully reusable vertical takeoff and landing space vehicle. This sucker will send you rocketing into space with around 110,000 pounds of force or more than a million horsepower. Imagine having that in your Ferrari. This bad boy will house up to six people, letting you do acrobats at your leisure while enjoying the best views on the planet. The the rocket consists of two main components, a pressurized capsule on the top and a booster down below. The two vehicles will launch together, accelerating into space for about two and a half minutes before the engine cuts off. The capsule then separates itself from the booster and coasts quietly into space. The booster then begins its descent back to Earth at over the speed of sound. Not to worry, it won't come crashing back to Earth, landing in the sea like we're used to. Instead, after a quick freefall, it pops out its landing gear. The booster performs an autonomously controlled rocket power powered vertical landing, reigniting its booster, guiding the rocket to a landing strip, and slowing it to just five miles per hour. And what about the capsule that sent you and your friends flying into space? Once ready, the vehicle will come back to Earth, landing softly under massive parachutes. Man, coming back down to Earth like that, can you imagine what you would see? Bring your camera. And speaking of the capsule, check this out. The New Shepard's interior is a whopping 530 cubic feet, and no, I'm not trying to be sarcastic here. To put that in perspective, that's 10 times the room Alan Shepard had on his Mercury flight back in 1961. It's large enough to fit six people, providing enough room for you to actually move around and enjoy the views. Every window is made of multiple layers of fracture tough transparencies, minimizing distortion and reflection. The windows allow up to 92% of visible light, as good as glass, but will keep you much safer in the pressures of space. So one of the first things that came across my mind was what if there's a problem and you need to escape? Are you doomed like you are on an airplane? And thankfully the answer is no. In fact, after doing research, I've realized it would actually be safer to fly in the New Shepard rocket than a Boeing 747. The difference is you have the opportunity for an escape in the Shepard. Drawing from the lessons of Mercury and Apollo, Blue Origin has developed a full envelope escape system. From the time astronauts are secured in their seats until the capsule separates from the booster and hits its apex, escape is an option. The system is built around a solid rocket motor that provides 70,000 pounds of thrust in a two second burn. This allows the capsule to move away quickly from any hazards or technical problems with the booster. Blue Origin has already successfully tested a number of suborbital vehicles in the New Glenn family and will most likely play a huge role in the first recreational visits to the cosmos. Their new BE-4 engine, which will be completed in 2017, is leading the way. This beautiful hunk of machinery uses oxygen-rich stage combustion of liquid oxygen and liquefied natural gas to produce, and get this, 550,000 pounds of thrust, a huge breakthrough due to the fact that liquefied natural gas is commercially available, affordable, and highly efficient for spaceflight. Unlike other rocket fuels such as kerosene, liquefied natural gas can be used to pressurize a rocket's propellant tanks, 
oh, how I love science. And get ready now, because I am about to seriously geek out. Blue Origin has built a facility dedicated to the BE-4 engine, testing components including the subscale oxygen-rich pre-burner, stage combustion of the pre-burner, main injector assembly, power back testing of the turbo pumps, main valves, along with the stage combustion testing of the subscale oxygen-rich pre-burner and main injector assembly. Woo! Anyway... It's going to be incredible to watch the New Glenn family of orbital launch vehicles carry astronauts and payloads into low Earth orbit destinations and beyond. I'm expecting a baby boy here soon. Who knows? Maybe he will be on one of those first flights exploring the cosmos and possibly even discovering a new alien race. <laughs> I mean, hey, a man can dream, right? Thank you all so much for watching this new episode of Schooled University. I know I was away for a little bit, but I'm back now. Please don't be shy. Leave a comment and a thumbs up if you liked the video. Until next week, class dismissed. <laughs>